What's up guys and welcome to the plane accident of Prologo. We are a plane crash investigator and it's time for us to secure the area and find out what brought this bird down. But first we gotta find the wreckage. Has anybody seen a lost aircraft? Maybe down this path back here? Hello? Anybody? I don't see any down trees or anything out of the ordinary but uh yeah man so brand new game it's a prologue kind of a, a demo preview type thing we actually we played accident it was a car accident first responder investigator type thing a few years ago and uh, now this is our second game in the series have a nice little pavilion here do we have ah there she is all right a downed plane out here in the woods we have located the wreckage and it does not look good We've got wings torn off. We've got seats ejected from it. Props gone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if there were any survivors here. I did play through the tutorial just so we could learn a little bit about it. First step is going to be to uh, section this thing off. We want to get our caution tape up. Want to make sure that nobody is going to end up hurting themselves. Ooh, we've got an electrical fire starting. That's not good. All right. Um, well, we didn't secure the wreckage yet, but... I would think this is probably priority number one. Got that taken care of. Okay, back to securing the wreckage. Just want to make sure. I mean, I don't think we're going to have anybody out here in the woods, but at least we have it cordoned off now. So now we want to secure the evidence. We're going to want to go around and anything that we think we might need as a piece of evidence, anything that looks interesting, we're going to mark with a stick. So we've got seats ejected from the plane. That's interesting. We've got a piece of wing and even landing gear underneath there we've got this guy looks like we've got a piece over here this is a washing machine i don't think this is related to our case now we do have a drone that we can throw up i'm gonna scan the area get our dji up in the air baby get an aerial view and it's it's gonna give us a map and then we should be able to locate some harder to find parts with this map so let's scan for parts you can see it's starting to highlight some of the the items oh we've we've got a lot of stuff to check out it says there's something around here what do we think this could be looking at it says we're pretty much right on top of it do you guys see anything i think it might be talking about this so not everything that the drone sees is actually going to be relevant to the case so it's you know technology is is an aid but we need to use our own judgment as well. There's got to be some stuff back here. It looks like the ground is kind of torn up. It looks like it slid. Was there anything that maybe popped off could give us a better inclination of what happened? This is a piece all the way up here. What in the world? So far away. I think there might be another one over here too off this way. I mean, depending on how hot they were coming in, probably hit some trees and some stuff started snapping off, but that's honestly kind of insane. Drum may have picked up something over in this area to the right. So as we're basically on top of it, I'm not seeing anything over here. This is so funny. So the drone has a, a piece over here. I think it's this. Somebody's air conditioner out here but that i mean that's kind of cool that's realistic you know you throw your drone up you're gonna see some metal equipment out there it's gonna scan it's gonna uh, pop hot on the the thing but it might not actually be something you're looking for looks like we might have another piece of something over here it's off to the left a trash can yep that would pop last three things have to be over here at the the plant oh we've got this guy right here there's the prop thing shot forward and got caught in the fence so we can mark that we're definitely gonna have some more stuff close that's nothing there's got to be some stuff in here too got a little handle there is that that kind of looks like a, a flask does it not all right so we're going to grab our camera and now we're going to take some photos of the crash site. So it's interesting. We've marked everything. We're going to take all these parts back. We're going to take some pictures. And then we're also going to do a lot of work inside kind of a lab. This is interesting. I don't I don't like that. Looks like the pilot may have been drunk. Maybe it could be his, his co-pilot or something. But I don't love that. Next photo is going to be over here. And so we, we have one piece all the way back in the back. Everything else is in front. Take a picture of this guy. All right. Order the wreckage to be transported. We're going to get the technicians on the phone. We're going to get all this back to the warehouse. Load them up. Get them out of here. Need to get this bird out of these people's backyards. and Going to try to figure out what happened. Back in the lab, baby, in the warehouse. So we've got all the pieces. We have the fuselage. We've got everything we need. And now we got to get to work and figure out 
what actually happened. So we're gonna go into our office over here. We're gonna take a look at the case documents, the case files. Let's see what we've got going on. So it took place in Carltown Forest Reservation. It's a Beechcraft Sundowner C-23. There's no flight data recorder. It was going from New York to Mount Mary. We had one passenger, one victim. Alfred Goldberg. An industrialist Alfred Goldberg boarded his light aircraft in a hurry and took off in the direction of Mount Mary. The weather conditions were ideal. The pilot did not report any malfunctions. The machine suddenly lost altitude and crashed on the territory of the Blue Creek Forest Reservation. Interesting. So he was in a hurry, but he had good conditions. Nothing else was really going on. Let's take a look at the technical log here. Looks like we've got all fluid, no malfunctions, no other malfunctions service looks like he he kept good service logs here not seeing anything out of the ordinary let's take a look at the flight log so it looks like he flew to mount mary in the past interesting august 18th savannah new york flight weather was partially cloudy 145 minutes the engine slightly stuttered let the mechanic paul inspect the matter paul's number okay so we're gonna have to end up calling paul New York to Boston, aircraft worked without problems, no disruptions, no disruptions. Ooh, okay, we've got three witnesses. The sheriff says, well, a tragedy's happened. Not much is left of the man. I've managed to find out the people who saw the accident were Helen and Old Bill. Go ask them, maybe they'll tell you something more. We've also got Dr. Quinsby here. The cause of the pilot's death were numerous internal injuries caused by the aircraft crashing into the ground. And we've also got an assistant here. My God, what a tragedy. He had found out that Margaret, his wife, had gone to their house in the mountains, not alone, but with a lover. He wanted to catch them red-handed. I uh, brought him to the airport. He got the aircraft and mechanic Paul was responsible for the aircraft. Maybe he'll know something more about it. Another person worth asking is Miss Goldberg. I don't believe this to be an ordinary accident. His wife was cheating. He's trying to fly up there in a hurry, catch him in the act. And unfortunately he paid the price with his life. All right, I feel like we should call the mechanic first of all. We have a lot of people to call. Let's call the mechanic. I've been working with aircraft for almost 20 years, seven or eight, which have been with the Goldbergs. Uh, when I do things, it's always top notch. I never allow myself any screw ups. You can check it by making a scan. He says he's good. Let's call Helen. I was driving with my kids and I saw a falling plane. It was flying in a slanted way at it, as if it had trouble staying in the air. I wonder if the wife or the lover was up to something. Send the aileron off for further inspection. I think that was the piece that we found far away from the plane too. Old Bill, oh man, I was coming out to throw some grain to them chickens and I heard this big old plane going right on down. Black smoke coming out of its tail. Must have been some engine malfunction. I mean, I know, back in Vietnam, I served in the Air Force. There's some black smoke. Let's take a look at the photo evidence here. We've got six photos. Photo doesn't add anything to the case. Nothing to the case here. Nothing there. Is there anything interesting? Alcohol. Yep. Check whether Goldberg could have been drunk. He could have been really upset. His wife's cheating on him. She's taking this, this lover up to the house. He pounds a drink and he's like, gets angry. I'm going to go catch him in the act. I'm going to go, you know, do something. The aileron is far from the wreckage. All right. So we're, we're on it, baby. I think the aileron might have been tampered with. So we've got clues now. We're going to put these up on the board and we're going to have to work through this and see what we potentially think this could be. So we've got Helen who says that it was coming down at an angle like it was hard to stay in the air. We're going to check the aileron. It was also odd that that was so far away from the plane. The assistant told us why he was in such a hurry. Mechanic Paul claims he's been working for 20 years. Do a scan. He did good work. Old Bill says it could have been the engine with the black smoke. And then, of course, we also have the alcohol. Let's check the contents on this bad boy. We are going to send this flask off for examination. I'm going to throw it in the box. We're going to ship it out. They're going to report back to us. Next up, we're going to reassemble the aircraft and we're going to see if we can figure out why the thing went down. We're going to do a scan of it, make sure everything was in proper working order. So let's get the seats in there let's grab the propeller we could put this up front we can grab the yoke that's gonna go in here for the pilot interesting that the yoke came off like that but i guess that could be just kind of normal wear and tear we're gonna need a new battery put the wing on aileron is gonna go on the back side of the wing here we also have a flap that we're gonna be able to put on the wing and then we have the hatch door which goes right there. So now we're going to make a scan of the aircraft. Again, we're going to go back to our handy dandy drone. Let's take a look. We are going to scan for ice, scan the surface. 
So the mechanic says that it's all good to go. Don't worry about it. He does a good job with maintenance. He's been in the, the industry for 20 years working with them for nine. The aircraft was in perfect working order the last time he saw it. So we're going to find out if that's the case here. Scan showed no damages. Discuss the results with the mechanic, Paul. Let's finish off first before we do anything else. We are going to try to access the engine, I think. We're gonna take this aileron. We wanna send this off for investigation. I guess we can just take this whole thing right now. It wants us to access the engine. I can't figure out how to how to get to the engine. So the engine's in here, but it's, it's not letting me. If I take the prop off and put the prop back, on its spot, can we access? Ah, okay. We can throw the, the cowl, engine cowl there. And then we've got the engine, which we can pack up. And set, dude, this is honestly really well done. We've got some more answers. First thing I'm gonna do is call the mechanic. The scan did come back normal. So we're gonna see what he has to say about that mechanic paw. I told you the plane was functional. The plane's last review was at Aerotech. Ms. Goldberg brought the plane back herself. It was her who usually flew the plane to the mountains. I think she did it. I think she set him up. I don't know. We'll we'll see. So the wife is a pilot. We're going to call Aerotech, see what they say. Did we take care of the Goldberg's plane? Yes, as far as I can remember, Mrs. Goldberg brought it here personally about a year ago. It all looked good in the papers. Maybe Jim, who conducted the inspection, will be able to tell you something more. Unfortunately, he's not at work today, but please try reaching him on his cell. Well, we're going to call Mechanic Jim, and he's not answering. Interesting. Mrs. Goldberg. Oh, well. A violent life and a violent death. He was always a ticking bomb. I never knew when he would explode and start another fight. I had wanted to break up for a long time, but my husband didn't want to give me a divorce. How did we meet? Ironically, many years ago, we met in an aero club. I don't trust you, Mrs. Goldberg. Things have been sour with the Goldbergs for a long time, says his assistant. She wanted a divorce and he would say it would only be over his dead body. It was about their common property, a million dollars. For some time, Miss Goldberg would take the plane, and look for some peace and quiet in the mountains. It was very suspicious that this time she did not take the plane. I find that very suspicious as well. All right, so I think some of our, our stuff is back. Received the box and the email of the hip flask, so we should have a delivery back here. We can pick up our box. We've got our flask, which we're going to put back down here, and then the the lab that inspected that should have some information for us if we check have a conducted the analysis we confirm that there's a 15 year old scotch whiskey inside says the chem lab interesting so now it wants us to call the doc dr quinsby so whiskey in the hip flask i recommend a blood test to check whether goldberg was piloting under the influence of alcohol so we're going to go into our outbox Please carry out a blood test for the late Mr. Goldberg for the presence of alcohol. Please send the results via email. So we've ordered that. We also have another box that came in. This should be the aileron and engine. Let's see what the results on this were. If we go back to our inbox. We conducted a series of tests. We found no technical malfunctions during the crash. The engine was operational. So it's not the engine. Looks like the aileron just came in here. So we're going to grab this guy. I thought old Bill was... You know, little little full of it, not gonna lie. I, I feel like I trust this girl, though. We've checked the aileron, and the preliminary analysis showed that the aileron could have fallen off before hitting the ground. We suspect it was the fault of the applied mounting screws. We recommend a further examination of the screws with kind regards. I think she set him up, dude. I, I She wanted a divorce. He wouldn't give it to her. I think she set him up to die. That's why she didn't take the plane up there. She drove up there with her lover, did whatever else. How do we check the screws? Would they be on this? We could put it on our workstation here. We've got the screws. Now we're going to send the screws off for examination. I, I think she did it, dude. Almost forgot we got to put these in a box before we ship them off. But yeah, why, I, it, if that was your getaway and you did that all the time, now all of a sudden the one time that the screws were loose on the aircraft, you didn't use it. It just doesn't make sense. All right, so we've got some more clues. We're going to place more of these up here. Still waiting on... I mean, the, the alcohol is another big one. I feel like we can't jump to too many conclusions here. But all right, so... Uh, Old Bill is wrong. There's no engine. The engine was functional. We're done with that. It could potentially be the alcohol. The assistant is suggesting that she murdered. It wasn't mechanic Paul. He was good to go. It, it could be this. I don't, it wasn't Aerotech. Mechanic Jim. Yeah, it was the last one that made the inspection. Well, I mean, in general, it was all good. The aileron didn't touch it. If it was replaced, it must have been done earlier and not in our place. Mrs. Goldberg, the blonde one. 
Pretty hot for her age, by the way. Did I talk to her? Nah. I'm kind of shy with women. Miss Goldberg has an excuse. I'd wanted to leave him for a long time, but he wouldn't grant me a divorce. It would have been too shameful for him. Why didn't I take the plane to the mountains that day? I took the car and visited my lawyer on the way. Is that what he is? In order to file the divorce anyway, you could check it. You suggest that it's me who caused this accident? That's ludicrous. Well, can I call your lawyer? We can't call him yet, but that's something that, that we definitely want to do. He didn't pick up. Looks like we might have some results and things back. Let's check the bolts here. Gonna place these into evidence for sure. And then we also should have the results of the, uh, the test from the morgue. So let's see. Blood test of the deceased man indicated an alcohol level of 0.0 promile. The pilot was sober. So it wasn't that. The screws have been made from poor quality steel and had no required attestation. Such screws should never be used in aircrafts where all the parts must endure exceptionally difficult operating conditions. Interesting. So it's it's not the alcohol. I think we need to see when the aileron was serviced and by who. Tires, window, propeller, steering lines, fluids, fuel line. 24th of October, 2019. So it was quite a few years ago. Replace of ailerons in both wings. Fix the altimeter. Conservation of the yoke. Replacement position of signal lights. After replacements, the aircraft underwent a review. And at present, requires no further conversation so this was at flycraft it could be either one of these so i i want to call the lawyer i can confirm that on this feral day miss goldberg arrived at my office we took care of her divorce papers the proof if there's a need i could provide the monitoring footage from the office's reception hall interesting i think he's good there goldberg's plane inspection give me a moment i'll check the plane was brought by Mr. Goldberg personally. It was about three years ago. We made the inspection, replaced the aileron, among other things. Young Tom was taking care of it. I'll give you his phone number. Well, we're going to call Young Tom then. Young Tom. So he didn't really know what he was doing. Remember it well. This Goldberg guy kept screaming that he only wanted it to go faster. An exceptionally unpleasant character. If I wasn't at work, I'd punch his face in. The aileron, yes, I replaced it. The problem with the screws, I've got no idea. I ordered the screws at All Stuff Inc. Yeah, I can send you the order. All right, so now we've got an email from him. All Stuff Inc. may have provided some bad screws. We're going to send an email to them. Have you sold screws to Flycraft in the past? I have the test results attached. The bolts do not have the required approvals. I'd be grateful for an explanation. All Stuff Inc. has hit us back here, back to our inbox. We have indeed sold such screws, but it was clearly stated in the advertisement that they had no attestation since they are a collector's item. I'm attaching the screen from our shop as proof. Dude, I think you killed somebody, bro. I knew it would come back to bite us. These screws, Goldberg kept screaming. He was in a hurry and he had to have the plane ready at the right moment. Unfortunately, there was no aileron screws anywhere. Missing stock. I was sick and tired of the guy and the fact that he kept screaming at me. I wanted him off my back, so I ordered replacements for the screws on the internet. They said they were no different from the originals. I was young and stupid. I definitely wouldn't do that now. Believe me. You put non-tested screws on an aircraft and you ended up killing a guy, Tom. I'm sorry. It was you. Young Tom has been accused of dereliction of duty and negligent homicide. Might be facing up to eight years in prison. The interesting thing is that Mrs. Goldberg has paid for Tom's attorney from her own resources. She's got that million bucks now. She claims that her husband was a raging nutcase who would force others to obey him. So it wasn't the boy's fault that he wanted to fulfill Goldberg's absurd demands as quickly as possible. Mrs. Goldberg inherited all the family fortune after her husband's death. She decided to permanently move to the mountains and settle down with a new partner. She hired her attorney to run the company. The assistant was immediately fired by Mrs. Goldberg and due to baseless accusations, he did not receive positive letters of recommendation. He's been having a hard time finding work for a while now. Life of the remaining people hasn't changed significantly, still the crash will remain in their memory for a long time. That's the only one we have. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for the full game to come out, but uh, that was really interesting and it's way deeper than I was expecting. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more playing accident when the full game releases, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, peace out.